Uh, now, uh, we have uh, more or less discussed about the genetics part. Uh, as I told you, genetics and evolution are uh, interrelated. Uh, let's uh, now look at uh, evolution part. Uh, evolution is a gradual change of organisms on the Earth over long periods with new forms replacing old ones. As evolution has progressed, new species are arising. The biodiversity of the planet increasing. Larger and more complex organisms replace the smaller and some species has get extinct or disappear. Uh, so generally, when you say evolution, there is what speciation or formation of new species. Uh, but uh, considering origin of life, uh, origin of life is very complex subject, very complex. Uh, evolution can also be the change in genetic composition of a population over successive generations, which may be caused by meiosis, uh, hybridization, natural selection, or mutation. So these are, this may be uh, the sources for evolution. Generally, uh, the ultimate source for the evolution is changing genetic composition or genetic makeup. This leads to a sequence of events by which the population diverges from other populations of the same species and may lead to the origin of a new species. When we consider evolution, we have to consider population. There is no evolution in an individual. Never. Uh, theories about the origin of life on Earth. The theory of uh, evolution describes how the various forms of life on Earth, including humans, emerged and developed. There are five main theories of the origin of life on Earth, special creationism, spontaneous generation, eternity of life, cosmos one theory, and biochemical origin. What is special creationism theory says? Uh, the different forms of life on Earth were created by a supreme being or God at once with six days, related with Bible. The special creation is always linked to religion and mainly focused on spiritual matters that cannot be seen, touched or measured effectively. Uh, so this is this exists as a trade because it cannot be proved or disproved because it is a spiritual idea. Uh, types of creationism theory, uh, gap creation, this, uh, this discusses a large gap between the formation of the earth and the creation of all the animals and plants. There is a gap between earth formation and the formation of living organisms such as plants and animals. Uh, the gap could be billions or millions of years, a lot of years. Uh, progressive creation from the name progress. You can uh, think that. Uh, the religious believes that God created new forms of life gradually over a period of hundreds of millions of years. It accepts the fossil record of a series of creation for all of the organisms, but it does not accept this as a part of continuing process. It is seen uh, as unique creation. It accepts also the big uh, bugs as the origin of the universe. Uh, what is the Big Bang uh, idea of the theory is uh, it is the origin and evolution of the universe. 15 to 18 billion years ago, all, matters, all matter was in one condensed mass. Explosion called matter and energy in the universe. The universe has been expanding ever since. It is widely held that the sun and planets in our solar system were formed about four and a half to five billion years ago from a cloud of cosmic dust and gas. Uh, evolutionary uh, creationism or theistic, theistic evolution. This view of evolution maintains that God invented evolution and takes some form of an active part in the ongoing process of evolution. 
intelligent design at very state is that life developed or formed due to a combination of natural forces and the intervention of a supernatural being this combines two things natural forces are there and also uh, invasion of supernatural being or that is intelligent uh, being is there the other theory of uh, origin of life on earth is spontaneous generation theory this suggests that life can evolve spontaneously from uh, in living things that is life originated spontaneously and evolved through different steps from inanimate or non-living objects uh, for example people believe that rotting meat turned into flies uh, it was suggested that if non-living components are left undisturbed these components favored the generation of life forms it was based on the observation that when cheese is left undisturbed for several days mice were found around that cheese block <laughs> uh, untenable or lacking the qualities such as uh, sound uh, reasoning by numerous experimenters uh, then finally spontaneous generation disproved uh, just the general uh, uh, things on disproving the spontaneous generation there are a lot of scientists a lot of experiments there but uh, the final one let's see uh, francis correctly uh, he used uh, open and closed flasks which contained meat uh, his hypothesis was that rotten meat does not turn into flies. He observed these flasks to see in which one maggots, uh, in which ones uh, maggots would develop. Uh, look, uh, flask unsealed, okay, open flask. Here is a meat, then flies are entering into the meat, then you can see the white things here, maggots formation. Uh, this one is sealed or covered flask then there is no market because there is no entrance of flies and in this case there is uh, a gauze uh, that uh, flies can uh, lie here and then there is market formation on the gauze and there is no also uh, flies inside the flask from this uh, the results of this experiment disproved the idea of spontaneous generation for larger organisms. But people still thought microscopic organisms like algae or bacteria could arise that way. Uh, so the next question is what disproving spontaneous generation for microbes? Okay, for microbes. For larger organisms, they did disprove the spontaneous generation idea. For smaller organisms, microscopic organisms uh, then the next experiment this flask is very important to disprove the microbes uh, idea for spontaneous generation uh, disproved by what Lewis, by whom by Lewis Pasteur this is a Lewis Pasteur uh, hypothesis is that microbes came from cells of organisms on dust particles in the air not the air itself Air is non living okay but there are uh, living particles in air that are the source for microbes to come pastor put a rose into uh, several special s-shaped flasks s-shaped means the flask is naked you can see it is s-shaped this shaped flask so he put bronze in this flask uh, the special shape was intended, what is the intention was to trap any dust particles containing bacteria. So there may be microorganisms dust, so the shape will uh, trap the particles. Uh, then each flask was boiled, then microbes killed and placed at various locations. So here is the boiling of the flasks. Then S shaped here. Uh, 
then did not turn cloudy. Cloudy means the, when microorganisms grow, uh, the cloud, uh, the as the mass of the microorganisms forms the cloudy uh, portion. In this case, there is no such thing. Okay? Did not turn cloudy. Microbes not found. Notice uh, the dust that collected in the neck of the flask here. The dust, dust particles uh, collected in these places, okay? in this space. That is that was the main intention. Then microbes will be here. Then microbes will not enter here in the pros. So Pasteur's experimental results. In this case, the boil, then a shaped flask, wet, no growth. In this case, boiling in the S shaped flask, then uh, break the stem of the flask. S shaped uh, portion will be removed, then wet, then microbial growth. So, from where microbes growing in this is by entering from the uh, air. So, air contains what? The microbes. So, in this case, airs are entering. You can think that there is no prevention of entrance of air through this. S shape. But only the entrance of the air will not cause the growth of what? The microorganism here. But the microorganism growth here is because of when air enters, it carries the dust particle through which microbes can enter and then there will be microbial growth. So this disproves the spontaneous generation for microorganisms and generally the spontaneous generation query is proved. The other theory is eternity of life. This is uh, the universe has always existed. That there has always been life in the universe. There is not, uh, there is no beginning and no end to life on Earth. And so life is neither created nor generated from many living matters. This is a theory. Okay, that means there are a lot of people who think. Uh, in such a way. Okay, therefore, we shouldn't ignore this idea, so we have to put us at will. Thanks for watching.